All right, what's up everyone? This is Nate Boykin, your real estate expert with DLP Capital, and this is your market update for April 2022 for the Lehigh Valley as well as Upper Bucks County. So what numbers or stats do we really need to look at that will give us an indication for what the market is actually doing? First of all, we need to look at the number of active homes that are for sale. Next, we'll look at the average sold price. And then we'll discuss how long the homes are on the market. And then this will give us a great overview for what the market is actually doing. So looking at the Lehigh Valley, which is gonna comprise of Lehigh and Northampton counties, there are currently about 512 total homes for sale. So this includes detached homes, twin homes, townhomes, row homes, mobile homes, you name it. So just to put that number into context, the Lehigh Valley as a whole has 726 square miles. That's less than one home for sale per square mile. That's pretty crazy. Next, when we look at the average sold price, the average sold price is $319,555 compared to just, just $258 last year, which is an increase of almost 24%. That's a pretty good return on your investment. Average days on market for the homes to go under agreement from the time they were listed to under agreement is only 17 days, so just, just a little north of two weeks. Last year at the same time, it was 28 days. So homes are going for more and they're selling a lot quicker. Okay, The average uh, sales uh, percentage is 103% of the asking price. So you're, you're on days long, uh, shorter, selling for more, and you're getting more than you're asking for, so it's a great time to sell. If we look at the Upper Bucks County uh, area, which is gonna include Quakertown, Perkesy, Doylestown, average sold price in that market is about 462,000 this year compared to 430 last year, so we're seeing a 7% increase in the Upper Bucks County area. Average, the average days on market here is just 22 days compared to 29 days on market this time last year. So we're, we're less by about a week, which is fantastic. And then homes are selling for an average of almost 104% of their asking price. So if you're a buyer in this market, knowing that percentage is actually a really good indicator for what you may have to offer above and beyond what the asking price is. So what does all this mean? Well, obviously it means that we're in a seller's market, which I'm sure we all knew. Um, but the question I get is how long will this last? Will the rising interest rates affect the amount of buyers that are in the market? Will inventory start to rise? And will house prices eventually level off? Well, I'll discuss that and more uh, in videos to come. So be sure to subscribe, get notified when the new videos drop. And if you want more specific details about the area in which you live, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I love talking all things real estate. would love to let you know exactly what the value of your home is at this present time. And with that, we are out. <laughs>